Hello guys, it is Andy from Mediocre Hobbies joined with Mr. Timothy here for another Old World Battle Report. In this particular game we are going to pit the forces of Bretonia, the brave stoic knights, against the horrible, mean, disgusting, despicable, poorly painted, poorly generaled <laughs> army of Dark Elves controlled by Mr. Timothy. They're just emotional. They're just emotional. <laughs> <laughs> We finally have the Bretonian Forest painted enough, the army that we're going to be taking to Warhammer World. And Timothy has a bunch of Old World armies fully painted, so we asked him to drag out something a little bit different for today's game. And he decided to bring his Dark Elves, because we have yet to see them on the table. And it was one of our personal favourite armies, both yeah. in the Old World. We have already deployed our units, we have already decided what the game is. We are playing the pitched canyon fight. <laughs> one. So bad at this, aren't you? Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a lengthways battle. And the two long sides of the table edge count as completely impassable. They're basically sheer cliffs. So you can't flee off of or retreat from or bring reserves on from the edge of the board unless they have the fly keyword. Yeah. How are you feeling about using your Dark Elves via the Bretonians? A little nervous. Again, you know, we're doing a PDF list against a fully supported one. Um, the Scaving Battle Report didn't do so well. Well, the report did well. The Scaving didn't do well. <laughs> no. no, so I'm, I'm hoping... The Dark Elves might help it, you know, against High Elves, I think they had a, they would have had a better side, but Bretonians, I'm not too sure on if they can uh, yeah. crush through the armor. Yeah, there's a lot of heavy armor. Um, you do have some Colwyn yeah. Knights, you do have your beautiful Hydra, you've got a, a decent amount of shooting. And shooting can be very swingy. If you get a couple yeah. of knights to drop from each unit before I get across the board, then all of a sudden the punch and the wind is taken out of my sail. That is the plan. So I'm just hoping I can chip enough off so when we hit combat. We're going to go straight into turn one now. We do not have the lovely Laura doing uh, her camera work in this one. So this will be a Blair Witch Project handheld camera by me as we try and play through the game and record and stuff like that. So I do apologize if any of the footage isn't up to her high standards, but we will do our best to deliver an engaging and entertaining game if we stop swearing at each other long enough for that time. Yeah. So, we'll, we'll, yeah. yeah. All right, guys, so we'll bring you turn one right now. Timothy's army, we have a unit of Black Knights. Five strong is our command. Uh, champion. Just Champ champion. Just a champion there. Uh, we've looked at these guys' profile and they are stronger than he thinks. He didn't think they were particularly good. I thought they had a very impressive profile. So he's got a big squad of... Black Corsairs. The Corsairs, of course. They've got Hambos, hand weapons, full command. They've got ranged and combat prowess. They're pretty good. He has one of the big bolt throwers here, which is also pretty good. It's basically a mirror match for a high elf bolt thrower. He has a big unit of executioners here. They're also pretty tasty. Especially if they roll, what, six is the hit or hit to wound? It's, six is to wound, six no armor. There's no armor, which is terrifying for my knights. He has a big unit of dark shards, which are the crossbow units. And these are the multi-shot repeating crossbows, so they kick out quite a lot of shots. Got a war hydra on the end, and then of course he has his general and his uh, wizard here as well. So all in all, Timothy's army is looking really nice, deployed across the table. From my side, we have a unit of knights of the realm here. This is the first unit of knights of the realm that I painted, so that's gonna be kind of used in every army. We have my big, beautiful unit of Grail Knights deployed beside them. Coming through the trees is another unit of six Knights of the Realm. Behind them is my token unit of Man at Arms, the unit that I have to take to play the game. Moving further down the list, I have my Duke on his Royal Pegasus. He's kitted out to the nines designed to kill monsters. So he's looking at that Hydra down there and licking his lips to see if we can manage to do that. We have my new unit which is the unit of questing knights that I've been working on in questing night week. These are a very time intensive unit and I don't think they're particularly good on paper, but they look fantastic. So I'm very curious to see if they do anything interesting in the game. And then they're followed up by my glorious Pegasus Knights, which have yet to let me down in a game. They are a very impressive unit, more impressive than I ever get them credit for. Hopefully they will do the same thing again. 24 inches deployed apart from each other. Big no man's land. We only put three cops of trees in the middle. I didn't imagine there would be much kind of buildings or anything in a mountain pass. It's supposed to be where kind of armies traverse through the mountains. So it would be fairly open enough. So we're going to play through this game and see how it all goes. We are now ready to go on and see who has first turn. And of course, me being the Bretonian player, I shall be taking a knee and praying to the lovely lady. You don't have to if you don't want to. No, I think I will. I think, I think I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. I thought you would. Yeah. So I did that. So my entire army takes a knee. It prays to the lady and we get given our glorious six up word save. Five up if the attack hitting me is strength five or more. And so that means that first turn will get handed over to the glorious Mr. Timothy. And we will go on from there. Yep, straight into it. I'm going to start off with my sorcerer. She's going to put demonic vigor on the executioners. So I'm going to need a nine 
to cast it. So I'm looking for seven on dice. Yep. So I get it off on. You do get a yeah. nine casted on dice. And I don't believe that I'm within 24 inches yeah. of you to try and dispel that. Oh, yeah, so they're gonna give me plus one movement, toughness, and initiative until my next turn. So that's really good, yeah. Just helps them get a little bit further out on the board. And we will add in the... Oh, you printed off some stuff for says spell. So you've got your demonic vigor card. We can shove the card in there. There we go. And then you have to point that on this unit. Fancy. So we know that we have demonic vigor. On that unit, there you go, how handy is that? God bless 3D printing slash <laughs> laser cutting. Okay, right. I'm not gonna try and dispel that because I don't think I'll be fighting them until after your next turn anyway, so. Oh, I gotta do stupidity. Are the dinosaurs stupid? No. No, they're brave. Thank God. <laughs> it wasn't as far off as you would've liked that, was it? No, it really wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna record him moving. Some knights are going go. to come straight up and in for a fight, love it. Oh, they're not really on it, so they're just gonna Shuffle forward yeah. with your Corsairs. Yeah, so I'm gonna say, right, move, and a little bit of turning, just so you're the crossbow. Be, you're gonna be facing up my unit of Knights of the Realm. It's more so the crossbow can hit the Grail Knights, because I don't the like- Bolt thrower can Bolt throwers, yeah, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't like Grail Knights. No, well, no one likes Grail Knights. No, nobody likes Grail Knights. And these guys with their extra movement now. Rah. This is the biggest problem. My Grail Knights, because they're so expensive, I obviously pump points into making sure that they have the Lady's Gift for the ward save, or for the regen save. But I don't have that first turn. So the 24, so these guys are going to be out of range. So they are going to have to move at least. So they're going to move up five. On a little wheelie wheelie. Yep. So a little bit of shooting, a little bit of combat. And this guy is going to be clever and go hide in the woods. Why is that clever? Because your knights, when they try to charge me, roll two dice and pick the lowest. Or does that happen with flying Pegasus knights? Yes. So my for being a disorder test. charge. Oh, you're yeah, charging charging for your terrain. distance, not for the dangerous terrain test or no. anything like that. No. That's for like charging in and out of terrain. You pick the lowest. Okay, okay. That's quite clever. Yeah. I like that. So you have been quite brave in like you've broken apart your line like immediately. Yeah. So let's see if that works in your favor. No, I don't have really a cohesive line. No, I do. But each unit of knights kind of works independently and kind of does its own thing. So yeah, and we'll see how that goes. I'm hoping for these are going to just more shooting than anything else. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the shooting phase now. Nice. So with your shooting phase, what have you got going on? I'm going to start with uh, shooting crossbows. Yes. And they're all going to see how many are going to be in range. Which oh, is not looking good no, right now, is it? I pulled them too far back. I got... And they're through the trees? Yeah, this is going to be soft cover for you. Uh, I think one... Isn't... No, no. No, he it, can't, yeah. Am I wrong in that when you shoot through cover, you can't yeah. see through trees? Through, yeah, so not... These guys won't see. But he will. Because he gets past the far corner, he will. He will. Definitely didn't just knock the knight boss off his unit. Shh, don't remember. Three of them. Shh. Uh, so three of them managed to shoot, and they're going to shoot at the most unkillable character that exists in Old World today. So we'll see what happens. There. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> so, yeah. so all missed. Oh, one I got one hit. One hit. Look at all those ones and twos. I guess the dice don't like him as much as they like me. No. Uh, you got a two. A two. Nope. So unfortunately, nothing has. Well, fortunate for him, happy for me. Nothing has gone through and hurt my glorious Duke. His. Dark Elf Bolt Thrower is going to open fire onto my unit of Grail Knights. Uh -huh. And uh, this could be bad for me. So, so let's see if I can get any hits. So two hits. Two hits, yeah. Long range, multi-shot. Yep. Uh, strength four. So fours. So two wounds <gasps> managed to go through. I wish they were sixes. They are not. So <laughs> what, the, a minus are they? Minus one. So my Grail Knights go from having a three up to a four up save. Boom. Oh. That's a zero. One passed and the second one failed. And uh, what strength is it? Four. Four. So I get a six up lady save, which I'll pass, which will annoy Tim. Oh, look, it would have been a five. So unfortunately, one of the Grail Knights already. It's always the Grail Knights that die first. And it's a really sad thing. So which one to take out? Unfortunately, the purple and white one will be slain. That is first blood to Timothy killing a Grail Ooh. Knight. It's disgraceful carry on removing yep. that model first. It has a little tricky spell I can do here. I took a familiar that allows me to cast. I place it down and it's casting from that spot. 
Okay, okay. That's so, a very yeah. interesting thing. Yeah, yeah. Because this bell is only 18 inch range. Okay. So it's going to help me get out because you're currently more than 18 inches from me. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead. Let me just double check where, how far it goes away from me. Okay, I'll, we'll come back to you in a minute. Okay, great. Right, so I checked the range on it. So yep. I have to place a focus familiar within 12 inches of my caster. Yep. And I've placed them out here using the little dead man. And he's going to point to the questy knights. Because I'm going to try and kill them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because... I just want to try and take some of the bigger units down a bit so they yep. don't hack me apart. Okay. Range is normally 18, but it lets me cast from here. So okay. now I'm able to cast into the unit in turn yep. one. Yep. So it's again, it's cast on a nine, so I need seven on dice. So let's see if I can get it. Eight on dice. So that means you get 10 in total. And ten is this, total. what spell is it? This is my magic missile. So it's going to be 2d6, yep. strength four, minus one. Okay, so I'm going to try my faded dispel and try and remove that. So I need 11. 11 or 12 to get rid of this, which I did not do. So the Faded Spell failed. So Timothy gets 2d6 strength four on so Questing Knights. So he gets a big glorious 10, yeah, which is so not good for seven, Questing Knights. Eight, nine, one more. There you go. And what is the toughness of a Questing Knight? I believe Questing Knights are only a glorious uh, toughness of four. Let me just double check the book. Unfortunately, I think only Grail Knights are Toughness 4, Quest Knights are only Toughness 3. Oh, nice. So yeah. it's going to be 3s when I need. Yeah, so let's see how many of these I can get. Yeah, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 9 wounds went through my Questing Ooh. Knight unit. These are, um, they only have a 4 up save standard, so they go from this to a 5 up save. So I managed to pass 1, 2, 2, 3 so far. And then I get my Grail save. So I passed two of those. So there's only two members of that unit left. So the beautiful new unit that I spent all week painting <laughs> is dead, 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 dead. I killed myself. You did kill yourself. So that was a blow. But as is tradition with anybody who takes new units, new painted units, they, first to die. They pretty much are always the first to die. A little bit disappointing, but what you gonna do? Unfortunately, that is the end of my familiar and it goes away. It's a really nice item for 10 points, I believe it was. Um, yep, and you can buy multiple of them because they're extremely common. So you can do oh, it a few common. times. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cool. So my one trick is gone away now. Yes. Okay, so that is the end of my shooting, my little shooty woots. Uh, I panic, I believe you might have, but I'm not sure if Questy Knights have to do that. I think they do, but we'll roll it. I think you re-roll it. I failed. But you, yeah, click. Oh, I'm pretty sure you get to re-roll. I pass. So the turn one, what we saw from my side was I lost a Grail Knight and four Questing Knights got removed from this unit. So quite a hard swingy blow, especially from his magic, which is supposed to be kind of a lot weaker than me. So thing that I should have done is I should have kept her more central for dispels, but live and learn so that's the end of your turn one quite happy let's be four you know nice to start charging my lines <laughs> yeah yeah so now we're going to move on to my turn one and we're going to see where it goes from there oh, this this one is a little, little red one yet no 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 i oh. taking a picture now it is <laughs> figured, Tim figured out the record button <laughs> Wait, we're all ready to go okay so it's my <coughs> turn one i'm a little bit devastated by the loss of my four questing knights before they got to do anything that is going to hurt my soul a little bit but we're gonna try and get some vengeance here. With the charges, I'm not really comfortable with the charges of the Grail Knights and the Knights of the Realm into your, or am I, will I risk it? Like what's the harm in risking it? Because I gotta be moving closer anyway. You're gonna charge me and what's the harm? Go and give me a flint charge. You can't flank charge over there, you crazy. I'm gonna cast some spells. So the lady's gift is going to get cast from um, the lady uh, onto these unit of Grail Knights. And she gets it on a nine plus four is 13, which means she gets to cast on the higher level, which means that that unit now has a five plus regen save. Yeah. I can't do anything to stop that. No, no, you cannot. 
Um, and then other spells that I can cast is none of them. None of them are else are in range. Curse of Cowardly Flight is not in range. Uh, the other one is an enchantment and the other one is sailment. So unfortunately, I did get some pretty poor spells. I was hoping for Fireball. I really need to find out, just give her the Fireball ring at some stage, but unfortunately I did not roll that. So that's the end of my spells. Now it's on to the movement phase and charging and stuff like that. So my Duke is going to be brave and say, you know what, to hell with it. And he is going to charge in here at the uh, Hydra. Uh, and we are going to uh, see how that goes. Is that all your charges? No. Will I try? Let If I try both of them, 17, I just need a... S an 18. 17 and 18. 18 is a 10 on two dice. And 17 is a 7 on two dice. Did they move set 10? No, they move 8. I did that the wrong way around. Yeah. It's 17, so it's 9 on 2 dice and 10 on 2 dice. Yeah, it's such a long charge. <clears throat> I'm not going to charge these, so I'm only going to do here. Okay, I'm so, going to hold. So, I it's 16 away and I am movement 10. Oh, so, so first of all, I'm charging into the tree. So with the first rolls, I pick the lowest of these two dice. So I get 3. So all I need is with my Swift Strider is a 3 or up, and then I will make it in. <laughs> And I roll a one. So unfortunately, I fail charge, which means I stumble forward. The roll is that high, four? the highest dice roll. Even Plus though, Strider. Even though I pick the yeah, low. Yeah, I don't know. So he goes forward like this, yeah. stops there, which is a little bit unfortunate. But that is unfortunately the way the cookie crumbles, or however people say that weird crap. So now the rest of my movement. So my Pegasus Knights are going to march. They're moving nine, so eighteen imp. You're not a 360 degree line of sight monster, are you? No. No. No, so they'll all fly up and do this. These two guys are going to abandon their... Um, would I give you that charge? No. Why would I do that? I'm going to charge in and overrun and that would be bad for me. Well, how far do you charge? 14, 15. Should put them over here, screw up. <laughs> and then these guys are just going to do this. I have counter charge. The only problem with the counter charge with you is, is you will get to fight first still because you're initiative elf with Lance. Yeah. So I just got to be, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to be brave. And I'm just going to be like, bring it. <laughs> I hope I can survive your charge. And then these guys will just kind of wheel and go over this way a little bit. And then these guys will shift out of the trees a little bit. I don't particularly want to be in like very easy charge range for you. You're moving five with an elf? Five. So if I stay like 10 away or whatever. Huh? Um, and I think that is my movement phase. I have no shooting phase. I have no fighting phase. That is turn one for Bretonians, which was a pitiful excuse for a turn. You're not gonna move your uh Token unit oh, there? Oh, no, my... No, dude, <laughs> the boss is there. They're, 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 they're like being good street sweepers. What they do is they follow behind the army and they clean up all the, the horse shit. And that's their purpose. So that's what they're doing right now. That's their, their shovels. They're not actually like picks. They're like shovels picking the shit up and cleaning up. You gotta keep the pristine green field pristine and green, yeah. you know? Cow pots everywhere or whatever. Where my questing knights used to be. Anyway, on to uh, Tim, Tim, Tim's turn two, uh, I guess. Okay, right, so now to my turn two. Let's, yes, sir. So hopefully I can do the same thing I did last time. I'd rather you didn't. We'll, um, we'll right, so first of all, I'm going to do my stupidity. Yes. This is the big important one. Oh, yeah, you could be so stupid, can't you? So you're not stupid. Yep. Your knights are beautiful. They are good. Fine. I'm going to cast Demonica Vigor again onto these guys here. Okay. Uh, five, six, seven. No, unfortunately, it does not cast. Failed Demonic Vigor. Uh, that, that's, that can affect me. That means I can't make that charge in front of me, so nope. I can't do that. Yeah. So that's that. So my charges is obviously the cold ones are going to go into the Grail Knights. So I will go for a counter charge, and we worked it out. That's something that's really important is I need to roll uh, not a one or a two, or else I won't have enough initiative to fight, at least at the same time as him. If I roll a five or a six, do I fight before you? No. So I'm fine. I at least He doesn't at least fight before me, but uh, I'll be shuffling forward my three inches. And then he will make his yeah. glorious smashing Smash. charge against me. That is a, a cool combat, and I can't wait to fight that out and see what happens. That is it for my... Ch Ooh, I'm not going to charge that. That's oh, I should have charged that. No, no I'm not, not charging it. 
You sure? You want to charge some? What do you want to charge? It's tempting to make my thingy into your dude, but I don't think I'll make that charge because I'm also in the trees. So uh, I have a different plan. All right, you have right? a different plan. So yeah, so let's go into the rest of the movement. So these guys are gonna go ahead and just. So that's more than their basic move. Yeah, so I'm gonna be out of range for shooting, so they're oh yeah, to yeah, march yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, they're gonna be there. Either I'm gonna try and dwindle off the last two questy knights, or they're just gonna reform, and pump everything into the uh, Pegasus. Well, how can you reform and shoot? Because it just counts as movement. Does it? Yeah. Reform used to I'm be like a march, that. wasn't it? I don't know. Yeah. Or even if I just have my fire off to swing myself back. Five. I can even just. I should get them. Yeah. I don't know what you just did there, Tim. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm just gonna. I don't know what that was. <laughs> so just gonna double check, but I'm thinking about I'm just gonna move them backwards so I can get them into my arc of sight and fire at them. But what I'm going to do, I'm definitely gonna do. This. Rawr. You gonna try your breath weapon on them? Go on a breath weapon then. <sniffs> uh, nope, um, these guys there are just going to side shuffle a little bit. Mm, yes, sir. So more guys can see. That has to shoot them, yeah. So they're just gonna side shuffle so I can try and get as many as them into your lord as possible. Sure. Okay, again, a little side shuffle. So that's gonna be my movement. Yes. So. Not sure if I'm happy with it, but it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> right? So we're going to do the flame template first, because that's always fun. Flame templates are always fun, except when you're setting feathery horses on fire. I don't think they're going to be too keen on it. So you hit three. There's no... Oh, they're all partials, though, aren't they? Yeah, I'm trying to... I don't think it was ever a way. No, I don't think so. Their base... I think their base is bigger than the, the end. I don't think you can literally cover one no. entirely. <laughs> no. So three partials, so three four-ups. Three, four ups. It's never been done before. I got two of them. No, respectable. Right. These are strength five because I have all five wounds remaining. Okay, so on toughness four, so threes. So one goes through. Ooh, it is flaming, if that means anything. It does not mean But it anything. is minus one as well. So my three up goes to a four up, and I get a five up lady save. Which oh. I pass. Because it's strength Stupid five. Stupid lady save. I'm always kind of happier when I'm like, the weapon is strength five. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, take a wound off him, make him a strength four. <laughs> like, nah. The, the okay. lady says always pass. She's... Okay. So I don't think these guys, these four can see, but he can. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On twenty-four, nine and twelve. So I need fourteen of dice. Okay, we're Five, ready seven. to see these dark shards are going to open up as many shots as possible onto the Lord. And you move and you're multi shotting for yep. minus two. So we're going from threes to fives. Threes to fives. That is abysmal. You got one. Nice job. Uh, you are strength. Three. I'm strength toughness. Five. That's not enough. No, 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 no. no. Um, I did tell you not to try and kill him. You're I am. You're just going to make him mad. I'm going to use the summoning on him. The summoning? Yep, the same spell. 2d6, strength 4, minus 1 hits on him. 2d6, strength... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Your mad spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 it's cast on. So it's cast on a 10. Uh, I need to see if there is any hope of my lady. She's in combat. Oh, so she can't dispel, can she? No. Would she have been able to? No. 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 So I need to get a 10 on 2 dice. 11. 11 on 2 dice. So I fail. Ooh, so unfortunately, that uh, means that he's going to get that spell off. Now. Let's see. Double sixes. That four. That's not going to be enough. No. Uh, what strength is it? Four. So nothing. Nothing. So good talk. You got too lucky with it last turn. Yeah. There's no way you should have tried it on something big okay. again. Six shots straight into the uh, knights in front of me. So the repeater bolt thrower is straight down the middle. These units, six the knights of the realm. So we're going to be... At long range still, I believe. Oh? No. No, oh, you're what's your your what's your range? He's trying to cheat again. I'm not trying to cheat. I'm trying to win. <laughs> There's a difference. I don't think there is. <sighs> 48! It is 48! So you're in short range, so you're just getting minus one from so multi-shot. 
Yeah, fours. That is unreal. That's all hits. Really want that the other way. <laughs> let's, yeah. let's see if I can do that exact same thing again. No, so your strength four. four. I am toughness three. So threes to wound. So two of them failed, but four of them did so go through. Uh, these two are gonna be at minus one. Yes, sir. These two are at minus two. This is very bad. So the ones that are at minus one are four up saves, and I pass both of them. These ones are five up saves. I pass one, and then this one gets a six up save from the lady. So ah. four. So unfortunately, one of these knights does get killed and removed from the unit. Really hoping to get a little bit more. <laughs> I was worried there, and that was, that was pretty good rolling okay. at the start. And um, last thing, I don't think he's in range of anyone. Did he march? No, he no, he's like, don't shuffle that. Yes. You get double pistoled. Need a six. No. <laughs> good talk. Worth a try. <laughs> So as goes combat. Yes. So my cold ones are initiative five. Not the cold, the riders. Yes. And then I get three for the charge. So you're five, five and three, three for, for the, the charge. So we're fighting at the same time. I get plus one to the initiative on the first round of combat. Very nice. So I do get to go first. So you do get to go first. So we're going to fight his cold one knights. Now not the dinosaurs, unfortunately, for him. Just, they, the, they, just the guys on top. He basically just needs to get lucky with the roll to hit. Yeah, so weapon skill five or weapon skill what? I'm weapon skill five or six as well. So six. Fours then. Yeah. So um, three hits, half hits, that's about right. Hatred would have been nice, but they only hate. I am not a high elf. So your strength is six, six and I'm told this four. So twos. So twos. Again. So two go through. Two goes through. So, and here's how my Grail Knights will do that. So, what minus is it? Two? Minus two, yes. So, I get five up, five up, five up. I'm with the same unit strength, yeah. So, five ups, five ups. Fucking hell. I mean, fucking Come hell. on! Five ups. You got one! <laughs> so, unfortunately, one Grail Knight does come crashing down, which is unfortunate for me, but we shall, we shall move on. So, my Grail Knights fighting back. Let's see what they can do. So, champion, dude, dude. I'm gonna double check my weapon skill. I have, because you're what said you were weapon skill. I'm weapon skill five. Yeah, I have this, something on me is six. I'm weapon skill six. That's not on. Yeah, so I'm hitting you on threes. Yeah. That's too many hits. Two misses, and then the rest do indeed go through, and then these will wound you on twos. Yep. So that is, do my sixes do anything extra? <laughs> no. So five wounds at minus two to your save for a last. So I got a tool armor. Oh yeah, cause you've got plate armor. Uh, full plate, so I need fours. So four of your knights are dead. I have the unit champion left. Okay. That is a bad turn for me. That is not what, uh, this is why these guys are ridiculous. <laughs> Mainly because of this. Yeah. So that's that, and I think my horses are faster than your cold ones. Maybe. Because the cold ones are like an issue of one or something. Two. Like two, yeah. So I'm fast with my horses. So I do get four horses. I will throw the lady's horse in as well. She technically has an attack as well, so I will roll her attacks in a minute. So hit you on fours. Two hits. Uh, they are strength uh, three because they're horsies, so fours to wound you. I do get two wounds through on your horsies. I'm talking four. Oh yeah, so we fives. One wound, yeah. It kills and him. it kills him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That that did not go well. No. Not at all. That's why you don't mess with ground lines. And then I get to, of course, reform. Yeah. Which will put me in a really nice uh, like flank charge this unit, maybe. And if I turn them this way, I'll flank charge that unit. And then they'll have a bad day, which will be good for me. Yeah. So, unfortunately, I did lose another special unit. Unfortunately, Tim seems to just be like removing the nice models from my army first. This is my dead pile so far. <laughs> to say I'm not impressed is a bit annoying, but yeah. I lost five dinosaurs. You did lose five dinosaurs, and those dinosaurs charged me. Laura's not gonna be happy with you. Oh killed yeah, dinosaurs. dinosaurs. She's gonna she, be you really killed annoyed. dinosaurs, yeah. Oh, you should send that picture to her. Let <laughs> me sit back on your side then. Okay, yeah, so. so that's the end of my turn. That's a little heartbreaking here on that flank. I think that's gonna really hurt me now. 
Yeah, I'm hopeful that it's just going to devastate you yeah. mentally. So uh, we're going to yeah. jump over to my turn too, where I'm hopefully going to do some more usefulness than I did in that last turn. Okay, so we are in my turn two, Bretonian player turn two. We had a successful Tim turn two as we countercharged with the Knights and we managed to wipe them out, which has put me in a really nice position yeah. to flank charge the unit of Corsairs. And I was talking to Tim about what my kind of plans and strategies are. And I was explaining the concept that I want to destroy the outside units with kind of like over overwhelming unit strength. So my plan is my Grail Knights and these two units of Knights of the Realm, all three are going to go in here. So them into the side and those two into the front. I'm just going to try to do as much damage as possible. It's not going to be good. The, the Lord on his beautiful Royal Pegasus is going to try and jump over and try and delete his level two wizard. And he's going to be supported by these three Pegasus, which are also going to jump over and take up the front rank and try and do that. Ignoring this guy, this monster doesn't have 360 line of sight. So if I jump to here, he can't charge me next turn or anything like that. He can move over and put a breath weapon template across my four Pegasus if they're still there. But that's something that I will deal with if I must. But if I think if I delete them and them, and then I have units reforming at the end surrounding his units, I think he'll be in a really, really tight situation. I don't think he'll be in a very comfortable situation. He might have lost his wizardly capability. Ooh. And as 2d6 strength 4 minus 1 seems to be a thing he's clutching at to try and help him deal with those heavily armored knights. So uh, hopefully I can take that ability away from him then. Um, I wish I could deal, reach out and touch that bolt thrower this turn, but I just can't see a way to do it. So if I had fireball maybe, but I don't. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to declare my charges in the front, in the spells. front, in the side. Yeah, I have no spells to cast. Uh, Oh no, I can cast the Hex, the Cowardly Flight now. Yes, I can actually, because I can make you try and run away. So I'm going to cast the Curse of Cowardly Flight, which only has a 15 inch range. So no, I can't, because if I cast it on them, they run away. I just rear charge them, I guess, which would be bad for them. But no, I don't think there's anything to cast. I think he's asking me about this. This is a Remains in Play spell. Yeah. So it just sits there doing nothing. And the other spell is Hammer Hand for an Assailment spell, which I will cast when we're in combat and I'm going to hurt you with that. So no, those are my charges. So first of all, flank charge there. What is your charge reaction? You need to go all your charges first. Yeah, the charges. They will stand and shoot one of the units in front. If I move this charge first, how can you do that? You can't stand and shoot if I'm within range. Declare, reactions, move charges. Is it? I don't know if that's how that works. How would you have time to react to them with them coming in beside you? I don't think that's how that works, Timothy. Well, well check it. I think we I'm might have to sure check that. We've had it again, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my Bretonian Lord on Duke will charge in here, and then obviously these guys will charge in there as well. So those are my five charges. Stand and shoot. <laughs> and they will, of course, stand and shoot if they can. Like I said, same thing again. These guys will be within half range. So if that's the case with the charging, then they won't be able to stand and shoot with them. So we're going to jump away real quick before we roll any charge distances and find out whether or not he can stand and shoot and then work it all out and then we'll come back to you guys. So we have swapped over to me recording for a second as Tim rolls his stand and shoot. The first one is going to be these dark shards multi-shotting into which unit of knights? I'm going to go for the one that already has a guy so taken. the wine and cream unit. So you uh, minus one for multi-shot and minus one for uh, standing and shooting. So it's five to hit with your hand bows. Looks like we got a decent number of fives and sixes there. Nice. One more. And yep. Yeah. They can all disappear. And then with the thing, you are strength three. Strength three, toughness three. So four is to wound. So we got a very respectable number of... Oh, let me double check those sixes. Do you think you're piercing with your... I'm hoping. <laughs> the only thing I can do against plate armor. Continue to check the rules. Do, 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 do. Yeah, don't shake everything. <laughs> Quick shot means I can charge you even if you're too close to me. Oh, okay. Well, that's that question. Uh, so I get uh, three up armor saves against those. I fail three and I take saves from the lady and I pass once. Unfortunately, two more of these knights come crashing down. I would say that's a very successful charge. That's really good. That's, from I believe me. would be a panic. It would be a panic, yeah. Um, and then you will obviously stand and shoot with these guys as well. Yes. So do you want to get those dice together and do that? Who yeah. is standing shooting against? I, 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 oh, you can't see these guys. So yeah, so it's going to have to be into the Lord. So that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. That was 20 minus 2. <laughs> there we go. So we're going to roll our 20, sh our 18 shots. And once again, you're hitting on fives. Five. So that was a more natural number of fives. One more here. One more here. Yeah. Um, and uh, your strength three and I'm toughness five. Sixes. So sixes. 
No, no big unfortunately fire. not. So that is the stand and shooting. So now you're going to pass the camera back over to Mr. Timothy. And I then got my we're spell, gonna... right? That's the stand and shoot. <laughs> so now I'm going to roll for my charges. Oh, yeah. Panic. Uh, panic. That's a fail. And that is indeed a fail. Which is an unfortunate one. So I'm going to flee 2d6 inches, which is a big giant 10, away from the unit. So that will bring me to smack bad in front of this unit of man at arms. And that's another reason why I do things like um, try and put as many units into one unit as possible because I don't even know if you're pointing at me, Timothy. I am, it's right at you. Because that failed. If I had to spread out my charges a lot more, then all of a sudden that would be a real big problem. But even now, still, I'm like, one unit of knights around plus my ground knights should do enough damage to kind of wreck that. I'm yeah. not even that worried about that. I don't even need to roll for the ground knights. No, they're in. So they're just going to smash in and rotate around and do this. Uh, the oh. unit of knights of the realm get eight plus 14 so i don't even need to roll their extra swift strides they're going to come eight plus 14. eight plus six is 14 is what i meant to say <laughs> um uh, and then of course we have to move over to the bretonian lord and see what he can do so he is at royal pegasus movement 10 so 10 plus 3 is 13 plus is it purebred do we have to re-roll ones yeah is he purebred i don't know I don't is he a war horse being a Pegasus? I don't know. And his extra swift stride is three, so that's 16, so that will begin. Oh. I need to find out whether that reroll actually matters or not, so. Yeah, let's, let's check go that check out. that out. <laughs> so, so roll. what happened there, Andy? So he fails for the second time this turn, <laughs> this game, he's failed. So he stumbles forward six inches. And, and then these Pegasus will try and do their goodness. So they will, of course, get five plus, okay, and then swift stride, so they get, 18 inches to charge, so they're going to do whatever they want. So the champion is going to go in against your sorceress. And then here, and then here will be the charges that I will I will do. That's unfortunate, once again, a couple of bad rolls in this game so far. I like him, he's a lot of points. Just so scary looking. He's like a quarter of the army or a third of the army. He's very expensive. So. Yeah. I don't have any shooting. These guys don't rally now. They ready to start on my next turn. Sure. These are dead. So it's just onto other movementy stuff. Have some questing knights for the reasons. I don't really know why. I'm just trying to avoid them dying now, to be honest with you. Why would I line them up so the bolt thrower can see them? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. Damn. Hand came off his chest, right? <laughs> hmm. uh, so I think we're just straight into fighting. Where to start first? We have a little fight. And then we have a fight you're going to win. <laughs> I'm going to win that fight too. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you worried about? Everything. Um, Them things particular. So I think my champion in that squad is going to aim its attacks into... Your, your sorcerer only has two wounds, right? Sorcerer's two or three? Uh, two. Not many. Okay, so I'm going to uh, uh, put my attacks into the sorceress. So I hit you on threes and kill you on twos. Yes. No saves of any kind. No, none okay. whatsoever. So I'm going to risk it and I'm going to do that. So the guy on top, he hits once. once, causes a wound, and then his Pegasus with two attacks. Uh, what's your initiative? A Pegasus? More than you'd be surprised. I'm initiative five. Oh, maybe I wouldn't be as surprised. Uh, a Pegasus Knight, the, uh, the, the Barded Pegasus is initiative four, so that means it's initiative seven. So he's going first, yep. And the <laughs> Pegasus Knight is initiative three, going so initiative six. Yep, okay. So the um, Pegasus itself hits once. Weapon skill. Well, yeah, you're an elf. What weapon skill are you? I'm four. I'm only three. So one wound. Of course. Where's what? your little... Uh, Why wouldn't look, I fail? Look at these fancy things that uh, Mr. Farrell has printed up or lasered out. Yeah. Uh, so the other two Pegasus just into the unit. So, oh my God, can I stop rolling badly? So one goes through, twos to kill a dude. Yeah, so that's one dead. One dude is dead. And then the ah. other attacks from the Pegasus. And yeah, um, threes, two strength, Pegasus, nine, strength four. So, so threes. threes. Minuses? So, no, no, I don't think so. And they got light armor. Let's see what I can do. You save one. Save one. So one dies. Another one goes. So that's two dead out of my ten. So let me yeah. do some fighting backs. Yeah. You actually get to strike back with your bowman. Uh, your bowman of three, doom. six, eight. No unit champion. 
Let me just figure out how oh, to go four. Back to you in a second, peoples. Five attacks. Two of them have to get through. <laughs> There's two. Yeah, so weapon skill four, they're initiative five. Okay, so right. Four is to hit. So check it out. So four is to hit. Let me see if I get my hands in shot. So three hits. Three hits. They don't have any fancy stuff to let them rerolls. No. And then toughness is four. Yeah, so, so five. I need fives. No. Nothing, unfortunately. So I, you have three wounds and a banner. You have two wounds. And uh, a wound three wounds. Yeah. So you have three wounds and a banner for four points. I have close order for one. And I have a rank. You lose by two. I lose by two. So they are a leadership elf. So my general being rip high of 10. So I need it under eight modifier. And you failed. I rolled an 11. An 11. So that means they're actually running away. So I'm going to pursue and I'm going to decide to use my swift stride just to be, because I don't yep. know when you decide that. I know you choose whether yeah. to use it or not, but I think it's now. So you roll a four, five, six, seven, and I roll a four. four. <laughs> a four right. and three dice. Love it. I'm going to do this combat now. Okay. So coming in with the Grail Knights striking first. So we have three attacks from the Grail Knights and two from his two buddies. And yep. they are weapon skill way more than you. Yes, they are. Weapon skill six. So do I hit you on threes or twos? I'm weapon skill six and your weapon skill is, it's threes, it's threes, unless it's like double plus one. Yeah. Two. Three is to hit, one failed, and the other six attacks did indeed hit. All right, you're looking for twos. Twos to kill is six dead Corsairs. Just minus two armor and you've got what, light armor? Yeah, one. Technically two, three, four. Five and six are dead. Yeah. So ah! I'm going to cast the assailment spell from the lady, which is a hammer hand. So it's cast on a seven. So she gets a five plus her level four is nine. I will try my fake dice to stop this. Mm. So you need a 10 on dice. No nope. failed. Six so doesn't do it. it is two D three. So I get three uh, strength four. So threes, two more wounds minus two. So another two die guys die. Yep. And one of the interesting things Meow. about, which I find bizarre, is it doesn't say anywhere that uh, the lady can't fight then. Even when she no, she gets to fight. I just find that bizarre. I feel like it should be in place of. Though the Prophetess has two attacks. One of them hits um, and it actually wounds. Yep, because one. <laughs> just stabbing you with a little dagger. And then I will, I will just roll for the four war horses in that unit now because they will be initiative six because of the charge. They will be. still faster than you, so. Three of them actually managed to hit. They are strength three, so fours. Two of them actually managed to wound. Um, and then the Knights of the Realm will come in and do their attacks. So yep. it's two attacks for the champion, and then four other people get to fight. Uh, they are only weapon skill. Uh, well, they are weapon skill four, but your weapon skill is more. Four. So fours. And this is what I talk about with the not being too afraid of knights, because they are so whiffy. It's only six attacks. So with four of them missing, that's only two that went through. It's just terrifying. And it'll still be twos to kill you. So two more of your guys will die. Ah, ah. And I will get five attacks with Bretonian War Horses. Um, th two of them do hit and one of them does wound. So the, the horse will probably kill another one because that's what they always do. Ah. Yeah. So I have that many left. You do have that many left. Because that's how many that now. I don't think any of them get to fight. Some of them would, because some of them still be in the fighting rank. None of them get to fight this way. But more than 10 of them are dead, so the whole front rank would be dead. Yeah. <laughs> Back in a second. So, so there's a unit champion left. Which way are you going to direct the attacks? Uh, forward is the most logical thing to do. So let's see if I can hit your weapon skill four. Yes. Get one hit. I Nope. No. I'm no wounds on that. No so wounds. My knights of the realms. So you lose by pure millions. Double ones. Yeah, you're fleeing like real bad. Like no double ones, right? Double ones. Yeah, like double. So I'm going to no. pursue with everything, and if I catch you, I can reform and face directions that I want to. So are you pursuing that... with everything? I think so. Because we run that way, and then I'll hopefully catch and kill you, and then just turn to face that way when I catch you, if I catch you. Considering my bad luck with my roll over here, I think I'm gonna risk that. I risk that. Don't catch you then, we're just facing off that way. I'm gonna pursue with my Knights of the Realm and test Restrain with my Ground Lights. All right, give it a test. So the Restrain, 
we are all good. Cool. My pursue roll using my swift stride. So I get, once again, uh, six, seven, eight, I get nine on dice. Let's see a 10. That's a four. Yeah. That is not good for no, me. No, no. So, so you, you want to get cough four and wiped out. Uh, yep. And I go nine? Do I go my full no, distance? No, I think you, you stop at four. I don't think so. I think it's my distance. At the end of my overrun, I turn. Because I go the full distance. I don't stop when I catch you. I go my distance forward. All right. Okay, so we'll come back to you at my turn three. Okay, so the end of my turn two, like I said, one of the knights of the round did a, a failed charge. It basically charged, got shot to pieces and ran away. So it's currently carrying in these trees. So hopefully they will rally my next turn. Quest of Knights didn't do a hell of a lot. This combat went about as well as I expected it to, wiping out that unit entirely. These guys pursued and reformed. Uh, these guys ended up there. So we're in a bit of a traffic jam right here. I still reckon I can charge past things if I need to, if I use clever charging like which order I choose. Over there, I failed to pursue and catch those guys even though we ran them down, which is unfortunate. I was really hoping to get rid of them from the game. Unfortunately, I rolled a four on three dice. He failed charge, bit of a disaster. So Timothy is in a bit of a tough bind. He needs to rally that unit. He is only like four inches from the edge yeah. of the table. So five inches from the edge of the table. So if he makes a mess of this rally roll, then he's in serious trouble. Yeah because he loses caster and a quite a powerful shooting unit. Then they can rally, kill some things with some magic and shooting, and then just weather the charge from some knights. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, okay, so here's your rally and you are not within range of your lord anymore. No, so I needed a nine, I believe. Okay, so they do rally. You can reform them and put them in any shape or direction you want. They count as moving for this turn. Yeah. Um, so moving multi shot would be fives to hit. But they can they shoot when they rally? They can? Yeah. yeah, so you're good. So that's at least something. That's good. Yeah. You can lose your wizard. Um, she can still cast the turn she rallies as well. Yep. Yeah, so you're all good with that. That's good. What are you planning to do with the rest of your uh, stuff? So I'll have to do her casting now. So let's try and do the Demonic Vigor. So still in 15. Just. Thank God for this place in the unit. <laughs> yes, so she's going to try and Demonic Vigor from here and try and make this unit a bit more bolstered. So she gets it on a six, six seven, seven, eight. eight. No, she does not. Unfortunately for you, yeah. Demonic Vigor does not go off and bolster that unit of executioners in the center of the table. That would have helped me loads. Yeah, a little bit. A little right, little so little 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 bit. unfortunately that's all that. So it is the chargey charge phase. Don't Five. think I have anything that can charge. So with here, with your angles. Uh, oh. No, I don't. I think you're actually out with those guys. But I think oh. there. I might get the Lord. I think you can get the Lord. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're definitely within arc for the Lord. So that's a charge you can potentially make if you want to try mm -hmm. and risk and fight that, which would be quite interesting. It's a stupid long charge, isn't it? No, it is it just is. out, yeah. yeah. So it is get side charged by two knights or go fight a Lord. Yeah. It's, it's not a comfortable position to be in. It's, yeah, it's, I'm going to have to go and fight the Lord. It's the only thing to do. He's a dark elf. If he doesn't try, he'll go home and get skinned alive. It's true. So he'll have to charge. So this charge is happening and I will, I can't counter charge because you're an infantry. I'm unit. infantry, yeah. 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 So let's see what I get. So you get, oh, I think you failed your charge. Well, let's find out. So we're going to have to. Four plus movement four. Uh, movement five. So I need to wheel a little bit, yeah. You need five, to nine. So if I go, oh, so that's uh, oh, my where it was. So we go one inch, two inch. You have to go three. And how much movement do you have left to do? Six. Yeah, yeah, you're in. So he still goes up. Hits. Was I in your front or was I in your arc? You would have been in it my. It doesn't matter. You your... would have been in my front. Like you have so to slide. I hit like that. Yeah. Slide here, I think. Yeah. I don't know whether you actually saw it anymore. But... I don't think so, but it doesn't matter. You only have one attack each of the front rank, so they all still throw their attack that way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, that's a charge that he did make, and he is going to pray to all the heavens that he does something good and breaks me, because he has a lot of knights looking at him. Yeah. Um, remembering that these have 360 line of sight as well, so yeah. maybe just rear charge him, and I can try and decimate his center unit, um, which is something that may happen. So we, we shall see. I might even put the questing knights in the front if they're still there next turn. <laughs> and a bit of payback. That'd be great. Uh, okay, so uh, let's finish my movement. It's gonna be... <laughs> yeah. But doing it in a way. Remember, I am, just so you know, I'm technically cheating a little bit, but it's not my fault. It's just the bloody wings. You're a little closer, aren't you? Where's my two inch marker thingy for my... There you go, they're two inches. 
Yeah, yeah, so just know that that's the distance. So you might get them all with the flame or better, I don't know. I still don't think, yeah, I'm gonna get all of them. So it's all partials. There you go, because you know, if you're the way you are. Shooting? Yeah, shooty shoot, so all partials. Let's see if I can get any of them. Yes. All hits, that's very good. Strength? Five. So unfortunately two wounds did not go through. Minus one. So I go from a three up to a four up. Fire! <laughs> and then your crossbow bolts. Yeah, so. Now remember, you do not have a minus one for skirmishers. Yeah, any more dice. I'll get all the dice. I made that mistake in the entire tournament I played in, one, thinking they two, people had minus three, one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I would love to have been able to pull these guys out further, but you can't do that in a reform. It's a readdress in the ranks. Can you not reform when you're re reforming? Is change your unit formation or 90 degrees because they'll say close order, moving them out. You can't actually do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, so some people have cheated in the past. <laughs> right. So I moved, so that means I'm hitting on fours. I have multi shot, so I'm hitting on fives. Are you short range? Plus one? I am in short range. No, so that's no, he's just not, not, not minus, minus one range. Yeah, five, so. A you did a couple, not as many as you would have liked. These dice do not like me. They haven't liked me much this game either. No. I think I jinxed them by talking. Alright, so let's need some Five. threes to fives. Sixes, yeah, sorry. Fives. So fives. three, toughness four. Yeah, one wound. Oh, and the lady's blessing. No. Get so, a wound! Uh, I will take a wound on one, oh, one of my... Or have I yet? My Pegasus units will... Pegasus! Pegasus. I'm going to use the fleur de lis symbol to represent the wound taken. There you go. What else is happening now, Mr. Timothy? Now do I want to... Six shots into the full Knight of the Realm unit. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think it's pretty obvious that's what you would do. Uh, hitting on fours. Very respectable. Yeah. Wounding on three, two, threes. Ouch. So these are strength. Strength four, minus one. Okay, so these go to uh, four. four up saves, which I passed three of, which is very nice. And then a six up Lady of the Lake save. It's going to really annoy Tim when I pass this as well. See? Never mess with the lady. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I told you it was going to annoy him. <laughs> yeah, anything else you want to try and shoot at me? See so if I actually okay. do some damage or anything? No? Cool. Uh, are we on to combats? We're on to combats. So this is the combat of doom. Yeah. So uh, you are obviously uh, quite a powerful character. Now I am a duke and a duke is no joke as a standard even thing. He is initiative five. I know yeah. you're still faster. Still I'm faster. He is quite fast. I am initiative always oh, first. <laughs> so it is, I will go before your great wield, great sword wielding dudes. They're not great weapons. Oh yeah. So you will get they're initiative five, like nine. Eight or nine, yeah, okay. So you all get to fight first. That's yeah. a big one. Okay, okay, okay. So, so weapon skill seven, so I'm hitting on fours. So only one hit. Man, hatred would be great. Uh, you are toughness five, I believe. So Mounted, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to need a five. No. Nothing. So that hurts so all much. of your executioners. So I have one, two, three, four, five of them in the front rank. Yeah. One, oh, two, and three, three four, five. Yep. Yeah. So that'll be six. So, again, eight and all fours. Not bad. Um, they are strength six, though. So they are threes to wound. Oh, they're strength four basic, are they? Yeah, strength That's four plus good. two, yeah. yeah so yeah. threes to wound. So these two. Yes, sir. An armor and regen. That's very good. And then that one will wound you at a minus one. Okay, so the one that ignores is at minus one. I have a still a four up save now because they can't get better than that for some reason. So I pass that. Yep. This one ignores armor and regen. Yeah, so just two so your ward. Just two five up ward saves. Which I pass one, fail one. So I take one wound and I go from I think five to four wounds. Yeah, so I've got four wounds left. Awesome. Okay, so even if you think about that, like I know you're a bit like upset with that, but you've got a wound, two ranks, a banner in closed order already. Yeah. You've got five. I'm not killing five to even it out. So it's a little bit worrisome with me, especially because I don't have my, my lance. Really hoping the Lord would have caused a wound or two. Uh, that would have made it all the difference, I think. Okay, so my guy does indeed have five attacks. Will I just go hell for leather and try and killing blow his Lord? Is that what I do? Yeah, okay. Fudge it. Sorry, I swore again. Uh, so I five attacks are all going to get directed against your lord. So I am weapon skill seven, so I hit you on fours. Yep. Boom. 
So I only got two through, which is not enough really. Yep. And I just need a six on one of these two dice for him to have a really bad day. And I got. So do you have any word save? I have a five up word save. So if you fail this save, your Lord is toast. Ho, 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 ho. So dead. the killing blow Lord once again does his thing, kills him. How many wounds does he have? Uh, four. So do I get four? I think, I don't know. The overkill? I think you do. But it wasn't a challenge. Who cares about a challenge? You only get overkills and challenges. It's not overkill, it's killing blow. Yeah, probably. <laughs> and then the- No, he doesn't have four, he has three. Three, okay. And um, now we've got the um, Royal Pegasus himself, which is a nice little character by himself. So he has three attacks. Uh, he hits on fours because your elves are ridiculous. He is strength five, so he's wounding you on twos. Um, they are... Toughness elf, or are they toughness I don't know. more than elf? Um, hopefully more than elf. They are toughness elf. So twos, so that causes a wound. Yeah, I think it is armor bane. So another elf dies. And then they do indeed have uh, two stumps. So twos. So two more wounds on your elves. One of those is six for armor bane, if that makes a difference. Uh, it actually would, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, he dies. Four, five, six, he's okay. Two he dies, so two more die. So my glorious royal pegasus gets a total of six. You get um, two ranks. Nope. No, one rank, closed order, a banner, and a wound. Yes. So you lose the combat by two. All right, so nine minus two. Are you nine standard? Because you lost your boss. They are nine standard. Very nice. So sevens on dice. Seven so on dice. You so they will fall back in good, good order. order. So they will or go you, back. Just, you just, you don't even fall back. I go back two inches. Yeah. If I charge, yeah, I'll just hold and then I'll charge my turn and get my last. Yeah. Okay, so that is, um, yeah. Ouch. Don't mess with the Bretonian Lord on Pegasus. No, he, not at all. He's a beast. <laughs> I told you. Yeah. Everybody needs to fear him. I was really hoping he would have caused a wound or two. He should have. Because he has a sword that ignores armor, regen, and ward. That's the most powerful sword I've ever heard of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my word. How many points is the sword? 65 points. But he doesn't get any strength bonuses or AP bonuses or anything like that. So it's his strength own four. his own merits. So I'm strength get... four, mm. yeah. So I needed fives to hurt him. So that is the end of your turn three. Three. So it's going to move over to my turn three now. Yep. And then we'll do a recap on the turn. All right. We're going on to Andy's turn three. He's this in my tur turn three. I can count me. So I am in my I want to charge everything with everything turn of Bretonians. So my plan is this. So I've got two units of knights out on this side. They're going to flank charge the unit of executioners. We have done some pre-measuring with some empty trays and they can both fit into the side. This unit of knight, the questing knights, the two remaining guys from previous, are gonna smash into the front. My lord is gonna leapfrog the trees and charge the front of the hydra. The pegs knights are gonna go into the front of there. And then that's gonna be everything that Timothy has in combat, bar the bow thrower. The you know, that is if I make some of these charges. My lord hasn't been particularly good at making charges this game, but yeah. we shall see. So I'm not able to do this because they're too fast, so they have to hold Yeah. So or run away. I'm going to start rolling for my charges now. I'm going to do the Pegasus ones first. They're in. They are in. So they're I'm just, just going to, once again, put the champion in against your boss, and then other Pegasus knights will smash into the front here. Yep. Yeah. With one wound taken on one of the knights. The... Units of Knights of the Realm, so they get 5 plus 8 is 13 billion, so they're going to go here. Smash, you smash. And then with these guys, um, they're going to roll this, Ooh, we which is two. 2, and then, come on, give me a high number, 5. So 5, so 17, 7, sorry, plus 8 is 15 inches. Did I actually... Did you just fail? Did, did I just fail or did I just make I think it? you... I just failed again. Just fail. Me and my charges <laughs> this game have been... So 5 inches forward. Seven, isn't oh, it? Seven, yeah. Seven yeah, inches yeah. forward. Way. Absolutely yeah. atrocious. These guys in? Oh, yeah. Bah. I'm, I'm just, I uh, Can't charge. I'm going to scratch the banner. <laughs> uh, my lord going over the top and into the thing. Yeah. So Can you do that charge? He goes 16 plus yeah. three, nine, like a million. He's, 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 boom. He's Look at that fight. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least my sorceress can cast spells now, I suppose. <laughs> Not that it'll matter yeah. much, right? Shoot your range weapon spells at me. Um, I don't have any. 
Oh, okay, never mind. I can make you take a panic test. So your bolt thrower might... Panic? Panic, and the crew might dive under and it can't shoot next turn. Is that how that works? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I forgot to rally these guys. Yeah, so rally them! Rally them. They rolled a four, uh, so they do indeed. I was really hoping they would just keep running off the table. Rally! So I've killed no units in this game so far. No, no, you have not. These guys are going to come around here, being all brave and showing you how good, like, yeah, we're coming in, we're the reinforced. And that's it for everything except for fighting, I think. Combat, Waddy. Combat. So. Unless you can, oh no, you can cast the lesson on them, or is that on her unit? And it's her and her unit oh, get okay. the benefit. So unless she joined that unit, then no, they do not get that spell. The Curse of Cowardly Flight. Uh, you can make the both of run panic, and they can run away with the both of her. I don't think they run. They'll not just dive under. Like remember, they did actually. No, they actually not just pick up the war machine. Oh running. really? All right, let's uh, cast that on a nine. So five, six, seven. Uh, 11 is that that's cast on. I you, two dice. On. I you need see a 12 I... on two dice. Box cars! Ooh! <laughs> now, roll those two dice again for your leadership check, please. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn. So that's all good. Like, I, I should stop, like, because it won't affect the game, but I'll risk miscasting and really affecting the game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, that's why, like, you know, Think about your dispel. Do you need to dispel that? Is it going to affect anything? No, then don't try and dispel because you can miscast on dispels now. <laughs> so where are fightings going to begin is the real question. You want to fight Let's down. Let's do the boring ones out of the way. Okay, so my champion is going to try and once again um, uh, kill the oh, sorcerer. we get. Now, I'm, not, I'm going to dedicate at the start so I'm not being a, a douche. His three attacks will go into her. His pegasus is going to go into the unit. So let's see if he can manage to pull it off. So I think they're all hits, are they? No, is she an elf? Weapons go four. I think weapons go four as well. So two hits, twos. She is dead. She's dead! Ah! But that's only one wound, not two. So I'm gonna leave one dice there. And then it's the four attacks from the guys on top of the other ones. Uh, three of them hit. Twos. Three of them die. And then six attacks from the Pegasus. Who hit on fours. Four of them hit. Strength four, threes. Two wounds. Who's? The evil answer. Oh, Pegasus. Are Pegasus. Different. Pegasus. Uh, uh, the strength four. Sorry, I took all the dice, didn't I? Yes, yeah, so you keep stealing them. Two more die. Two more dead. Ah. So I killed. I got a total of six wounds in six. that combat. Yeah. Um, so I have four guys left to fight. On a banner. So you get some uh, four duty. Here's some dice. Let's see if we can do stuff. Do it. No wounds. No wounds. So you're in serious trouble. Ah, uh, yeah, they're they're gonna run. Yeah, I'm not going um, to pursue. Well, they're going back to these. They're falling back in good order, technically. I didn't roll over my leadership. Leadership eight. So I have how many of you is left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, so I don't have more than you. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Falling back in good order. Um, I am just going to. I don't think it's going to be another turn, do you? No. No, so... Uh, let's see what happens. So I go the highest. So you're off the board, but you can technically come on. Oh! Oh, you're naughty. You're just on the edge of the board. I'm on the edge of the board! <laughs> okay. They're there, but facing that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I'm just going to reform. I'll take a leadership test to do that, I think. So I passed it on an eight. So they'll reform. Not that I have to actually turn and face anything, because they have a 360 line of sight. Yes. Come on, bat over here. So I think... That my lances go first. Yes, they do. And then you go. Yes, because they're then my, five. If any of these dopes are left, then they get to fight. So my six attacks from the guys on the, the flank, hitting you on fours, hitting you three times. You are still toughness elf, so it's toughness two yep. to wound. I only roll one. So minus two. This, one dead. This is the problem. And then uh, you're faster than my horses because yes. you don't have any minuses with your crazy weapons. Yes. So this is a problem. That's why I needed the Grail Knights to hit that unit. Okay, so let's do my two guys to the side. So two attacks. Yeah. Uh, weapon skill five to your four, I believe. Yeah, uh, weapon skill four, yeah. So I hit it on threes. Yeah. Two both hits. Um, strength uh, two's the wound, the strength six. So both wound, both, just minus one. So I get four up, five up. So four ups. Pass one, fail one, and then the five up for the lady, fail. So one knight does indeed come crashing okay. down out of the fight. And then I get my full front rank, which is six, one, is it? Minus one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so the one died here. So that's my two there. Yeah, and then five. Yeah. 
So six attacks. So if you could like fluff this load so my questing knights could swing their swords at all in this fight, that'd be nice. No, I gotta kill them all. All right, so let's see. Threes, I believe? Yeah. Okay. And twos. Yes. Okay, so that's one no armor save, three at minus one. Okay, so three at minus one is three five up saves. I pass one and fail two. So and then three ward three, saves. Five up ward saves, which I pass one and fail two. So these two knights, never getting to swing a sword, are now dead and removed from the fight. Happy days. The glorious. And Finally killed the full unit. And then we have five horses fighting back on the other side, hitting on fours. Of course, the hooves do better than anything else. Wounding on fours. They one wound. They weapon skill three? Yes. Ah, uh, one dead. So, I caused two, two wounds. wounds, have a charge, a you flank charge. You don't get char charge. Why would I not get charge? That's not a thing anymore. Oh yeah, that's why, <laughs> that's why it's not a thing, sorry. Uh, two wounds. Close lance formation. Lance formation. Banner. A banner. And a flank. And a flank. So I get five. I got. You killed two, three, I uh, have a banner. And I killed three, have a banner, I'm closed order, and I have a rank. You are, you don't have your ranks because I have unit strength of 10 in your flank. I don't have a rank. No. So you lose by one. I got five. Three kills, closed order, banner. Three kills, closed order. Do you get closed order as well with that? Yeah. Yep. So three, yes. And I've got two, lance, flank, banner. banner. So. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, and then, of course, the last fight, uh, the most important fight. So, here, we're stuck this way, but me giving ground would have been the best thing. So, this is actually, holding is actually a negative for me. Yeah, a little bit. Because I'm still in your flank. Yeah. Uh, and I still want to get three guys to fight. Yeah. Because uh, uh, I don't know if I can read the rest ranks as well um, this no, way. No, I don't know. I don't think you can. All right, let's do the Lord. I'll see if you can kill a Hydra. <laughs> I will be excited if he manages to kill the Lord and the Hydra in a single like Roll game. Closer. That would be uh, kind of funny. So I'm weapon skill seven. Yeah. What weapon skill are you? Uh, eighteen. Right? No. Four. So still just threes, isn't it? So threes. There you go. That's my luck of this game. <laughs> I see. feel so bad for you. Well, Tim laughed <laughs> there, which means this is still going to be a killing blow. Six. So, oh. <laughs> so it is a wound. Is a wound. Uh, minus minus two. two. So I have heavy armor, which goes away, but I do have a regen of five. So he loses a one. So you take a wound. So he's on four. And then the royal Pegasus, with his three glorious attacks, hits all, all the time. Because he that's just how he rolls. He's strength five. I am toughness five. So four is to wound. That's why you don't mess with the Pegasus. And they're armor ban, aren't they? Yeah. So six of armors, first of all. <laughs> 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 Finally, they're working for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this turn didn't work out the way it was oh, supposed to, oh, guys. Let's do. I have two handlers, so I'm yes. going to do them. So they get attack each. Nope, that's that's, nice. that's, that's, that's that's what they were for. So I have two attacks. I get to use their normal claw attack. Yeah. So that yeah, that's nice. Yeah. And then yeah. I have four attacks or the extra attacks for the hydra heads coming yeah. down on you. So that's uh. It's one, it's one one hit. Yep. Yeah, this this is handbags at dawn. I am strength five. Hold on. I'm not. I'm strength four. And I'm toughness five. I'm toughness six. No, yeah, hold on. <laughs> no, yeah, still strength five. So still wounds. Why, what strength are you? Five. You're not toughness six, you're toughness five. Yeah, I'm toughness five. <laughs> so uh, one wound, no, yep. no minus. Uh, I don't care. Oh, I hate you so much. <laughs> so you Will lose, you ever die? You lose combat by one. <laughs> <laughs> I get to stomp on you. I oh, stomp too. You can't stomp on it. I cost terror. Roll the user test. Oh, I don't care. See? Okay. Now roll another one. Why? I don't know. <laughs> so you lose combat by one. So I got to stomp on you. You can't stomp flying units, can you? Yeah. Because you're on the ground now fighting. We both stomp. I'm a monster. Can you? I don't think you could stomp I'm me. a behemoth. So? I'm not a monster. I'm bigger than you. I think you're making crap up here no. to make you win here. I think you still stomp on me as well. Two wounds. Uh, these any minuses? Minus two. All right, so five ups, one pass, and then uh, five up, and then five up. Come on. So I get a wound yeah. So I'm down to like 17 wounds or something. And then my two stomps back. 
Caused a wound. So. Oh, you don't you dare. It went off the table. Uh, and regen. Ah, it still was a six. <laughs> uh, it's a draw. It's a handbag. Five, four plus one, so I've got four left now. It's five wounds. Oh, he's got four and one for the Pegasus. You think you are a dwarf? I'm better than a dwarf. Tall and majestic. <laughs> Beautiful. Our wings are not on our helmets, they're on our horses. <laughs> okay. okay. We're going to my turn four. I think this is probably going to be the last turn of the game. And it's just going to try and do some silly things. Yeah. So first of all, let's see if they rally or they run away. Just yeah. on a three, they rally. <laughs> yeah. That's it. They're going to win me the game. Didn't they fall back in good order? So they technically they rallied at the end of the... Oh, yeah. They weren't actually running. No. no okay. They <laughs> oh, I thought they were running. They were good. Never mind. So let's do some... Shooty boots. Yeah, what shooty boots are you gonna do? Uh, I really want to just pump all them in. So you were going to no, shoot? No, I don't think they're in the... range. No, so they're gonna have to go into the peg. They're gonna go into the pegasi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I need lots of dice. And Andy has stolen all the dice again. I have not stolen all the dice. You have the majority of the <laughs> dice. I just had a couple of the dice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Right, here we go. Hit him on fours. Hit him on fours. Well, multi shot, long range, so fives. Oh, that long range. Oh, I fire <laughs> fine the ground lights again, sorry. Oh. One, two, and threes go away. Yes, yes, they do. Because that's what four higher means. There's another three in there. Let's get rid of the gold one, not the. I got rid of one of them. Oh, you got you don't like the green one. Those fives to wound the Pegasus eye. Two wounds on the Pegasus. Minus two. One at least. Minus something. Minus one at least. No, multi shot. You don't get minus one. Six. No. No. <laughs> don't I have armor vein? Uh, <laughs> I fail both build. anyway, and I take my magic saves, and a Pegasus does it. I kill a whole Pegasus. Crashing down. This changes the whole thing. I'm going to put all six yeah. shots into them, hoping I can kill at least a unit. <laughs> oh, God. So he's going to fire his repeater bolt thrower now, with he's filled with confidence into the uh thingy yeah so three hits yes strength four so four is to wound what are you saying about the killing a unit thing <laughs> we're gonna kill one unit <laughs> no 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 panic no yeah it's 33 percent where they don't care because their lord is with them as well so they're leadership nine so they don't care fighting yeah let's go over here so you want to fight this one first? Yeah. So I'm going to do five first. So your three attacks, uh, well, technically four attacks, because yeah, the champion will slide across. So this is actually really bad for me. Oh, uh, hit it on threes. That's really what I didn't need to see. I, I need as many sixes as possible now. Well, I think any of them will already get through. What strength are you? Six though, but I needed sixes so you didn't get your armor regen. So it's just minus one. So you're looking at three saves at minus one. So I get three four ups followed by five ups. So let's see what I've got. So two pass. And then a five up, come on, baby. No, so Got I do one. lose a knight still. You know, it's it's just not enough. I mean, he gets his rank back now because I'm not unit strength 10. So let's fight back anyway and see no, what No, I, I don't think I'm heavy infantry. I think it's all infantry require. Honestly, no. strength five to Yeah, break. heavy oh, infantry. Yeah. Have to, uh, I'm regular infantry. So sergeant and then three dudes get to fight. So I hit you on fours because you're glorious elves. I'm only strength three, you're toughness three, so wounding on four. So I do get a wound through. I get an armor save at least this time. Yeah, you do, you do, you do. And it fails. You failed it, so you died. And then the glorious four horses, which will probably do better. Two hits, yes. Four is to wound. No. No. So I have a wound, lance, flank. Banner. Banner. You I have, have a wound, wound and a banner. Closed order. Closed order. And um, yeah. So you lose combat by, by one. one. So. You're going to fail this time too. It's going to yeah. really annoy you. See, look. <laughs> Double sixes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate you so much. I told you it was going to happen. Why are you not listening to me? Uh, so how far are you going to flee? Are you I'm pursuing? Gonna, I'm going to pursue with my swift stride. You go nine. It's okay. I beat that. No, you don't. I think I got a 15. I think I'm like crashed into the wall yeah. over there somewhere. So they're dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're okay. they're they're dead. Let me just take them away for <sighs> Get rid of those. <laughs> Get them out of the game. The ugly unit. They're dead. And the glorious knights go about fifteen and crash through these trees and smash out the other stop side. Stop at nine. Well, Kingdom of Heaven's music is dangerous. Strain test for all of them. Yeah. Roll four dice. Get four ones, and I feel better. What were you saying? How far did I run? It was, I stopped when I attack you now, isn't it? Yeah. So I went into the trees. Yeah. So into the trees. 
the last fight is, yeah. is the Pegasus once again, the Lord attempting to killing blow this dude. So I am a higher initiative, so I am going to once again. <sighs> Come on. We got this, right? We get here. So three is to hit you with my sword. I hit three times. Just need a six. I just need one six. One six to do it. Come on. No, I am strength. I think I'm strength five or some stupidness like that for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I am strength five basic for some strange reason. So there are actually still three wounds. Okay, roll the dice. Roll them all again. Tell me who you hit. On a one, the four you hit them. On a five, six you hit him. I think we were meant to do that last time. Uh, so one hits Hydra. Uh, Norms. Hey, right. Void armor. No, oh, they're both dead. Ah. So they're dead and a regen save on a Hydra. Uh, I got an armor save. An armor save, sorry. Fails. And now my regen. Also failed. So he's so, down to three wounds. So I will. So my, what initiative are you? Three. So the Royal Pegasus will go next oh, still. Lame. So he hits what initiative? What weapon skill are you? Four. Are they Royal Pegasus initiative? No, just the weapon skill four. So one, uh, strength five, so four is to wound. Nope. nope. And I do have two stumps that will hit you if I survive. Yep. Right. You get to attack me back now. Hold that. Yes, sir. Okay, so I get to do my two claw attacks first. So hitting on fours, one hits. Yes. Uh, these are strength five. No. That's a one. And I have three wounds left, so I get three attacks from my heads. No hits. All miss. So we both get our stompy wompies, I'll yeah. do mine. So you get two stomps. Uh, one stomp, it's D3. Oh, it's D3, okay. And it wounds, strength five. Uh, yes, so uh, I get uh, this, which I means I don't care about it. You no, failed. I do care. Vibe up. You failed. Vibe up. I'm fine. <sighs> And then my two stomps left back, so I'm looking for fours. I cause two wounds with my stomps. Armor, one pass. Regen, failed. So I lose by two. No wait, handlers. Wait, we lose by more. To two wounds on him and two handlers. That's four wounds. Four wounds! I don't think the handlers count. But yeah, uh, I will fall back in good order. I rolled under my natural leadership of six. But we're even in unit strength, so... I'm strength 10. I'm a monster. Oh, okay, yeah, I get you. Or 5, you. I think my starting wounds. Um, so, yeah, you do fall back in good order, and I will not I pursue, because it's my turn. I'll get a lance charge against you again, but you'll just crash into this wall here. <laughs> and that will be the... Are you conceding at this with my next turn, or do you want to fight on another turn? Yeah, I think you have it in the bag, unfortunately. I mean, yeah... I doubt your leadership 10 is going to fail the terror check for that. No, I think he has the Grail Vow too. I think he's immune to all that. <laughs> I don't think he cares. Of course he is. I think he like gets the Grail Vow as a standard thing yeah. or something. Because he's a, a lord. So yeah, yeah no. I'm yeah, on, he I, has the Grail Vow. He doesn't I, care about that. I, I think these guys are just going to run away. And the Hydra will die. And that is the game. Considering I have not killed a single unit. Hey, you've... Um... No, I have! I got the Questy Knights. No, you can't That's a moral victory. Yeah. You painted a brand new unit. You spent the whole week painting them. And they did absolutely nothing other than they moved, they moved, they charged, and died. The people hate you for this. You didn't realize <laughs> this, right? Okay, so that's the end of the game. It is a victory to the Bretonians as there is still Everything. one, two, three, four, five, six, six units left on the table out of seven. I just lost my glorious questing knights. I do have, just because I didn't lose a unit does not mean I did not lose some knights. So this, 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 plus, plus this and this. And him over there. This plus this. Just give you exact numbers of, you died. So these are actually the deaths. So I did still use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and a pegs. And 14 knights did still die in the game. And Tim showing off his death. Hold on. <laughs> So 14 dead knights to his. Oh, he's metal. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And, and don't forget what Laura's going to kill you over. Kill the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs. Um. <laughs> That's a lot of dead. You shouldn't have messed with the Bretonians. How many no. times do I have to tell you about this? Okay. Done with PDF lists. The dwarfs are coming next time. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want to play that. <laughs> All right. The dwarfs will come to the next war. <laughs>
Okay guys, welcome back to the post-game analysis as to how this particular battle report went. It, it so, went. <laughs> it went. Right. See you next week, guys. Uh, okay, I'm going to tell you my honest feelings as I went yeah. into it. I was very confident in the deployment phase. Yeah. I looked at my army and I looked at your army and I was like, I think I'm quite comfortable here. Like, I think I'm going to get around things. I think I'm going to hit things. I'm going to delete some smaller units and I'm going to leave him kind of flat-footed and chasing me around the board. After your first shooting phase, when four quest knights and a grail knight dropped, I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. That was a very disconcerting. No, it wasn't mostly shooting. It was that spell. You got yeah, really lucky with that spell. That dropped four questing knights. But the army did still perform. I still failed. I think that's a reassuring thing for me. Like, this is a fun game army for him. This is an army I'm taking to Warhammer World to compete in a tournament. Although there's no questing knights. There's another, you know, Pegasus knights instead. In the list, but other than that, the list is exactly the same. So it was kind of nice to see... Okay, this unit, this unit, this unit messed up. This guy failed to charge. Your plans went to shit. And they still managed to kind of power through, use yeah. attrition, and still managed to like punch through units and kill them. And even when I got whacked out of position, I'm like, okay, I can weather a turn. Got good armor. Got regen, say, or my well, Lady of the Lake saves. First turn, after first turn, I was nervous. Failed at all my charges second turn. Still pretty nervous. And then third turn, I was like, ha, here's the Bretonians. There we go. Um, yeah, that losing the knights on my charge, that was devastating. I was really hoping to kill two maybe three with the luckiness but you know what i just realized what? that's two games in a row we played a game online last yeah. week and the first thing i'm doing is chaos knights charged into my blood knights and he died <laughs> yeah yeah it's the same again I'm just same right flank and everything just, oh my god it is <laughs> i'm just done with knights <laughs> i'm um, all here for knights man yeah so that was a really crippling blow that really just exposed my flank and just tore that side apart Mm -hmm. um, really chuffed with how the sorcerer did in the first turn. Uh, not getting the spells off, like I think in turn two and three was bad, not rolling high enough. Yeah. And then remembering after she died, I can re-roll that. Yeah, she, she got one uh, re-roll for a spell uh, in the game. Yeah, so, so. failing the spells and forgetting to re-roll was hurtful. I loved killing the, uh, the knights and having them run away, but as any over committed into that one flank. Hmm. Breaking that unit and running did absolutely nothing. Still destroy the unit. It was fun. I had a lot of fun. Uh, I hate Bretonians so much. I think they stand so strong having a level four and a beast in the game at under 2k. I do feel Dark Elves don't feel like Dark Elves of the old way. No, I think you're right. I think we should play a fun game where we house roll it and they get hatred. Yeah. And we see what the difference that would be. Um, maybe play it in another game without that with against not Bretonians first just to be double shit. Yeah. But like, yeah, I feel like if high elves still always have always strike first, don't they? No, they have that plus initiative, but they have like their swords do actually. This sword is a, they, all their weapons are magical weapons, and they all do different wazzy yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's just, it's just it didn't feel like the old dark elves of Warhammer Fantasy, but this mm. is the old rules. So I have to understand everything has changed, everything will change. Um, again, they're not the, one of the main army books, yeah. so they are just like here's some rules that you can play some games with. Have fun. It's not meant for tournament lists or competitive yeah, play yeah, yeah so people have to understand you can't take this to a competitive play expecting to beat against a competitive army that's going yeah. to be more supported i yeah. think but it is still fun just to take your models out play some games with them it's just fun i haven't played with these armies in oh 10 years, ten years so, now yeah because yeah, i've dark elves were like fourth army and then i went on to like yeah. three more armies afterwards so yeah it was, it was fun to see them on the table but um i think i might bring my dwarfs yeah, I'm scared of your dwarf, so... Yeah. More armor. Lots, Lots of armor. armor. Grail Knights and your Lord is two beefiest units I think you have going for you. I think they're just... They I look think, amazing. I think the Pegasus Knights are a big... a big. If you play these well, the fact that I'll have two units of them in the tournament, I think it's going to catch a lot of people off the guard. Yeah, and I think the way you're playing them is the correct way. You're like, ignoring the main center units, focusing on the edge, and just surrounding the forces. Yeah. It's even a psychological thing. Like imagine turn two or three of a tournament game and you've got your center and even your center's holding. You're like, there's a Lord and two units of Pegasus Knights behind me. Like, yeah. what am I supposed to do here? Like, I have to, I have to stay fighting this way, but these are going to rear, like my, my wizards are gone. My war machines are gone. My light yeah. cav is gone. Like, cause these, I use these as light cav and there's no light cav yeah. in the game that's going to stand up to them. So, oh God, no, none. I mean, yeah, a furious charge and higher initiative and being able to fly over things. It's just, you're not safe against them. Yeah, they're not cheap. <laughs> no. Well, they're, but they're 185 points-ish for three of them. Really? Yeah. A block of 20 doors is 190. Yeah. I think they'd bounce off a block of doors. I think they would block them. The doors just turn into pieces. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay, right. guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this bot report. We will be back with more. We probably won't get to another one before the tournament in April that we're going no, to. No, no. Which like is, we're in April two now. Weeks. It's two weeks away. Uh, so when we return for more bot reports after that, there's a chance we might jump up to 2K. Doors haven't been on list, but then we're going to focus on two different armies. Yeah, so I'm going to get... I think I think my High Elves is going to be the next army that I work on. Orcs up and on the table. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening to us rambling and having a game. I hope you enjoyed it, uh, watching it as much as we did recording it. Apart from my question nights. And... Um, <clears throat> And I hope to see you guys back in another battle report very soon. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you ask me anything you want in the comments below. And we will get back to you and answer yeah. anything we can. Point uh, out what um, we did wrong. <laughs> nothing. We're glorious. How dare you. <laughs> yeah. uh, so uh, you guys are awesome. And we will see you in the next battle report. Bye-bye. Stupid Petonians die.